What's going on YouTube? My name is John. We are here for what I believe is vlog number six or vlog number five. Like I said, I've been losing track and as we begin every vlog, we will begin this one with a snack. Went to the vending machine today, picked up some new snacks and I have Happy Hippo. Summer Spaß. Summer fun. It's from Kinder. Same people who make the Kinder eggs. Not sure what to tell you about this, but um, I have no idea what the hell this is. I just saw the picture of the hippo water skiing. He looks like he's having a ball, so this seemed like the perfect snack. So I guess we'll open this up and um, we'll give this a shot. Oh shit, it's like a cracker. Oh, it's got a hippo. A nilp fad. Na 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 nilp fad. Okay, let's give this a try. Oh, it's got a filling. It's gonna be a ridiculous vlog. I don't know what it is, but it's got some kind of filling. Not bad at all. It makes a mess, like everything. Oh shit, this is great. Always buy water skiing hippos. No, oh, it's just, this is good. It just makes me happy. What's my overall rating on um, Happy Hippo Water Skiing Adventure? Best candy of the trip. That was wunderbar. All right, what are we working with today? So last time I spoke to you guys, I was telling you about my Thursday and my Friday afternoon. Friday night came and went. That was a crazy night, but you guys won't be hearing about that. The next morning, though, I had to get up early to go to Amsterdam. Amsterdam was beautiful. I don't want to go into too many details about Amsterdam because this vlog would take forever. It's the first time I'd been there. It was wonderful. We took like a boat tour around. We got to see the city and just the way the architecture is laid out with all the houses so narrowly compact amongst one another with their hooks and the canals that weave through the city. It's just, it's wonderful. I really do like Amsterdam. I wish I could spend more time there, especially walking around the city at night. It doesn't get dark till maybe 11, 30, 12 o'clock midnight. And it's, it's cool. You just have so much daylight, so much time for activities or something like that. I don't know. Amsterdam was wonderful and I'm glad I spent some time there. I went through this market that was like several blocks long. I had several french fries because the people of Amsterdam know how to do it right with their french fries. So that was Amsterdam. You guys will probably be seeing a montage that I'm going to be making of that, hopefully, if I ever get around to editing. I just uploaded my first vlog. It took me nine days to edit and upload. Beyond that, we got back Sunday afternoon, and it was a pretty chill day. I just worked on some editing because I didn't have much to do, and we went to school the next day. So school itself was fairly uneventful. It was boring as hell. It's hard to go to school when you've just finished school, like my high school just finished up, and then a week later I packed my bags and I'm off to Germany where I had to go to more school and when you barely understand what the teachers are saying but you have no reason or motivation to participate in class you just get bored and I find myself slowly going and I just get tired I, I can't do it school is a nightmare it's crazy because the classes get so wild the students just have no fucks to give they're just ridiculous jumping around the classroom smashing things not even paying attention Never would things go like that in an American school. It's kind of madness. <laughs> After school, though, we ended up going to play some laser tag, and laser tag was all right. The problem with laser tag is you play for like five minutes, and then you get bored for the next ten because you're just running around doing nonsense. At one point, I grab onto my buddy Will from the other team, and I use him as a shield to deflect lasers that come near me as if he was like a hostage. So that's a good strategy for those of you who are going to be playing some laser tag at some point. After that, we went to this buffet. It's called Tang. Tang is like the king buffet of Osnabrück, and king buffet is this Chinese buffet they got everything they got Chinese food they got sushi they got seafood they got wings they've got everything your heart could desire chocolate and vanilla swirl ice cream King Buffet is the bomb it's right next to a movie theater you go to King Buffet see a movie and then when you're done get more King Buffet King Buffet is love Tang is like King Buffet same basic food but they're missing the seafood element which is just not the same if I go to an all-you-can-eat buffet I expect some crab legs and some clams sure this buffet had kangaroo which was pretty cool but I don't know I want my seafood I haven't had seafood in a while I can go for a crab leg right now especially it's summer I need some crab legs right now that was that and then the next day I actually went to school and did something fun in school me and some Americans actually went down to a what I believe was maybe a second or third grade classroom and spoke to them and they just asked us questions and it was basically like a little interview where they could see what it was like and the thing started off fairly simple what's your favorite food um, I think we asked what's your favorite color 
Where are you from? Do you like it here? Do you like Nutella? And then they asked what your hobbies are. And I said, well, I play soccer and I make YouTube videos. And that's when I accidentally stole the show. Because once I said that, their eyes popped up. They were all suddenly amazed. Like, they had no idea who I was. They didn't know I was Johnny J25. But the fact that I made YouTube videos, I guess, blew them away. And they just kept asking me questions about it. At one point, I they asked me to write my channel name on the board. So I write Johnny J25. And then they just all scribble it into their notebooks. And then it was... Like, I felt bad about stealing the show because after that, the majority of the questions were just directed towards me. But it was also kind of funny and kind of cool. The self-indulgent side of me kind of liked it, but then the modest side of me was like, eh, I feel kind of bad, because, like, what about the other guys? They're cool, too. And after that, though, school was pretty much downhill. Although, I'm doing better at not falling asleep. Like, I didn't fall asleep at all this Tuesday, so you got to give me bonus points for that. After that, though, a lot of the Americans and the Germans, we all went swimming at Netabai, which I spoke about in a previous vlog. And that's all there really has been. There haven't been too many updates with what's been going on in Germany. Um, I'm wrapping, I'm, I'm running out of time here in Osnabrück though. I only have two more days and then I'm off to Berlin and then I'll be briefly in Köln. Unfortunately, I'm running out of time here in Osnabrück and I'm not sure what that's really going to mean in terms of vlogs. I'm going to try to squeeze in one more, two if I'm lucky, and maybe try to get Louis Ben, my host partner, on the camera and we'll talk about what it's like living together. We'll see. That, I think that'll be a funny video. Probably tomorrow, Wednesday, me and my friends are going water skiing and then we're gonna do like a night out on the town to commemorate our time in Osnabrück. And then Thursday, it's gonna be a lot of packing or having a going away party. So I don't know how I'm gonna be able to squeeze in these videos. We're gonna try and do our best. And then once I'm in Berlin and Köln, I'm not sure if I'll be able to like sit down in front of a camera like this and talk about my day the way I'm doing right now. But we're going to try our best, and I think we'll be able to pull something off. I don't know. Hopefully, I'll find a way to do it. If not, then you guys will just get a little bit more basic vlogs, but you'll get vlogs nonetheless. And I'd like to say thank you to the people I've met in Osnabrück so far. Uh, Louis Ben, you've been fantastic. I've really enjoyed my time with you. Your family, of course, you've all been wonderful, and I really do appreciate your hospitality. You've been so nice, so welcoming, and I couldn't have asked for a better host's family. In addition to that, some of the new friends I've made, you've all... I don't want to start listing names because I'm sure I'll end up forgetting somebody, but I've met some fantastic people on this trip, and I couldn't be more grateful. I'm having a blast. I'm really enjoying my time in Osnabrück. I love this city. Hopefully, I'll be able to come back one day, but that's going to wrap things up for this vlog. Hopefully, I'll talk to you guys one last time before I leave, but until then, goodbye.